this lecture we have completed chapter number 10 part 4 today we are going to start part 5 so let's begin so let us start with the first topic of today multiplication of a decimal by a whole number question number 1 is find the following products a bar 7.2 into 9 so students first step is Ignore the decimal point and just multiply. So let us ignore this decimal point. So let us multiply 72 into 9. So right here, 72 into 9. 9 to Usa 18, 7 9 to 63 plus 1, 64. So now we will place decimal point. So just see in the question, after decimal point, how many digits are there? Only one digit. So from right we will place one decimal point. So 64.8. So in answer also after decimal point there is only one digit. Now B part 1.25 into 12. So multiply without decimal point. 125 into 12. So 5 twos are 10. 2 twos are 4 plus 1 5. 2 ones are 2 into 1 fives are 5, 1 twos are 2, 1 ones are 1. 0, 5 plus 5, 10, 2 plus 2, 4, 5 and 1. So now let us place decimal point. So see the question after decimal point how many digits are there? 1, 2. So the answer is 15.00. Or we can write only 15 because after decimal point digits there are 0, 0. So the answer is 15. Now C part 2.6 into 14. So let us multiply 26 into 14. 6 fours are 24. 4 twos are 8 plus 2, 10. 1 six are 6. 1 twos are 2. So answer is coming 364. So now let us place the decimal point. So after decimal point there is only one digit. So the answer is 36.4. Now D part 1.157 into 3. So multiply here 1157 into 3. 7 3 is a 21. 5 3 is a 15 plus 2. 17, 3 ones are 3 plus 1, 4, 3 ones are 3. So answer is coming 3471. So now let us place a decimal point. So after decimal point there are 3 digits. So 3.471. So I hope students now you are able to multiply decimal number by a whole number. Now next topic, multiplication of a decimal by a decimal. Question number 2, find the following products. A part 3.12 into 1.6. Here we have to multiply a decimal by decimal. So again we will ignore the decimal point and we will multiply. So let us multiply 312 into 16. We have ignored the decimal point. 6 twos are 12. 1 carry. 6 ones are 6, 7. 6 threes are 18. Into 1 twos are 2. 1 ones are 1. 1 threes are 3. Now add 2, 9, 9, 4. So answer is coming 4, 9, 9, 2. So how we have to place the decimal point? Just see the question. After decimal point, how many digits are there? 2. And here after decimal point, how many digits are there? 1. Now add 2 plus 1, 3. So it means that after 3 digits, we have to place decimal point. How? It will be 4.992. So after decimal point, how many digits are there? 3 digits. Now B part 2.1 into 3.3. First ignore the decimal points. So multiply 21 into 33. 
So multiply three ones are three, three twos are six. Three ones are three, three twos are six. So answer is coming six hundred ninety three. So here after decimal point only one digit is here, and here also one digit is here. One plus one two. So from right we will count one two. So answer is six point nine three. So after decimal point there are two digits. Now see part four point zero three into zero point nine. So ignore the decimal points here. Four hundred three, and it is zero point nine. So we will multiply by nine. Nine three is a twenty-seven. Two nine four is a thirty-six. So answer is coming three thousand six hundred twenty-seven. How will we place the decimal point? Just count after decimal point. How many digits are there? One, two. And here only one, so one plus two, three. So now one, two, three. So answer is coming three point six two seven. From right side one, two, three. We'll place a decimal point. Now D part zero point six into zero point four. So we'll multiply six into four. Six fours are twenty four. And after decimal point, how many digits are there? One. Two, so it means in answer there should be two digits after decimal point. So the answer is coming six into four, twenty four. So zero point two four. So I hope students now you are able to multiply decimal by decimal. Next topic: multiplication of a decimal by ten, hundred, thousand, etc. Question number three: Find the following products. A bar sixteen point two four three into ten. So first step is ignore the decimal point and multiply. So the answer is one six two four three zero. Now we will place decimal point. So let us count one two three. So start counting from here one two three. So here we place the decimal point. So students, as I told you earlier, whenever we have zero to the extreme right, so it is of no use. We can remove the zero. So the answer is coming one hundred sixty-two point four three. As zero is to the extreme right, so we can remove the zero. Okay. Now B bar five point two six seven into hundred. So let us ignore the decimal point and multiply. So it will be five two six seven zero zero. Now place the decimal point. So after decimal point there are three digits. One two three. So decimal point will come here. So we can remove these zeros. So the answer is five hundred twenty six. Point seven. Now C part twenty three point four three nine into thousand. So let us multiply by removing the decimal point. Twenty three four thirty nine zero zero zero. So here after decimal point three digits are there. So one two three decimal point will come here. So just ignore these. So the answer is. Twenty-three thousand four hundred thirty-nine. So, students, remember, in order to multiply a decimal number by ten, hundred, or thousand, we just shift the decimal point in the product to the right as many places zeros are there. So, here, what do you observe when we multiply sixteen point two four three by ten? The decimal point moves to the right by one place. The decimal point moves to the right by one place. Initially, decimal point was between six and two. So now, decimal point is between two and four. So it moved to the right by one place. Now, B part here. When we multiply five point two six seven into hundred, the decimal point moved to the right by two places. First decimal point was between five and two. 
So now decimal point is between 6 and 7. We move to the right by 2 places. Now see bar 23.439 into 1000. So when we multiply these two numbers, the decimal point moves to the right by 3 places. Initially decimal point was between 3 and 4. Now decimal point is at last. So it moves to the right by 3 places. So I hope students, so now you are able to multiply decimal by 10, 100 and 1000. Next topic, properties of decimal multiplication. So students, so these properties of multiplication we have also done in class 4. Properties are same, but these are based on decimal multiplication. Number 1 property, the order of decimal numbers can be changed in multiplication. The product remains the same. Example, 2.2 into 3.3 is equal to 7.26. And if we change the position 3.3 into 2.2, then also product will be 7.26. The order is changed, but the product remains the same. Now second property, the product of a decimal number and the 1 is the number itself. So students, you know very well, any number multiplied by 1, product remains the same. Example, 4.6 into 1 is equal to 4.6. And 1 into 4.6 is also 4.6. Any number multiplied by 1 product is same. Third property, the product of a decimal number and 0 is 0. Any number multiplied by 0 product will be 0. Example, 5.81 into 0 is equal to 0. And 0 into 5.81 is equal to 0. So students, I hope these three properties on decimal multiplication is clear. So now let us you fill in the blanks based on oral multiplication of decimals and properties of decimal multiplication. Number 1, 0 0.6 into 0. So the product of decimal number and 0 is 0. So product of decimal number and 0 will be 0. Now second is dash into 1.8 is equal to 14.5 into. So here order is changed and both the sides, left side and right side should be equal. So here it will come 14.5 and here it will be 1.8. So if you see order is changed but product will be same. Now third, 14.26 into dash is equal to 14.26. The product of decimal number by 1 is the number itself. So if you multiply 14.26 into 1, so answer will be 14.26. Now 4, 95.601 into dash is equal to 0. The product of decimal number and 0 is 0. So here we multiply this number by 0. Next, 16.8 into dash is equal to 168. So, so this, these questions are based on multiplication of decimals by 10, 100 and 1000. So here if you see the product is 168. So what number we will multiply by 16.8? So here we have shifted the decimal point to the right by one place. So it means 1 zero will come. So multiply by 10. Next. 2.808 into dash is equal to 2808. So here when we multiplied 2.808 and we shifted decimal point to the right by 3 places. So it means we have multiplied by 1000. So the product is 2808. Next 6.483 into 100 is equal to. So students. So here we have to multiply this decimal number by 100. First write the number without decimal. 6, 4, 8, 3. So 100. You have to move to the right by 2 places. You have to move to the right this decimal point by 2 places. So decimal point will be between 8 and 3. So decimal point will be here. So I hope students, now you are able to do these types of fill in the blanks. Students, that's all for today's class. I hope you all have understood good in class.
So chapter number 10, part 5 completed. Practice these multiplication questions at home. Now we'll continue in our next class. Take care. Bye-bye.